Now that you've done a little setup, you can create your first project. Go to Start, Projects, New Project, and that will open the New Project Wizard. You'll enter a client name here. And when you click out of that window, uh, you'll be prompted to create the client as a part of SI. So just go ahead and do that. You can fill out any information here that you'd like. The important stuff being a site address. That's going to print on all of the reports. So go ahead and enter a site address here. And when done, go ahead and save. You can also add a contact, like a primary contact, as well as any additional contacts. In this case, we'll go ahead and create a new contact. And when done, go ahead and save that and save the client. This will populate these fields here. And then go ahead and enter a project name. After entering the name, just go ahead and click Next. You'll see the site address. The next step would be to enter a billing address. Uh, this is if you want to apply a price rule. You can skip that for now. These are the taxes that you set earlier that will display here. If you need to change those, you can. This is where you can add project resources. We'll go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, this is the primary contact that you saw center earlier. You could add additional contacts here if you'd like, but again, we'll skip that for now. You could write a scope of work. This is one of the optional client reports in the software, but again, let's skip that for now. Here is where you can add the locations for the project. So if you know uh, some or all of the locations, go ahead and start entering those. You can enter them via the Add button from a preset list if you've taken the time to set that up, or just go ahead and click New Location and type in the name of the first location. In this case, we're going to do a room list. And once you have some or all of your locations entered, go ahead and click Next. And this is where you can enter systems if you would like. That's the different systems you'll be doing in a job. Uh, for instance, AV system. You could do another one for control system. And then go ahead and click Next. Uh, this will be the payment schedule that will print on the contract report. You can always come back and edit this later. And then any custom fields, which we'll go ahead and just skip for now and save this. This will save the project file and then we'll open this project file for edit. And this is the project editor interface. This is where you will start adding your products to the project in order to build a bill of materials. All of the information that was in that wizard uh, is available for edit here within the editor. Um, if you click the information button here, you'll be able to enter stuff like the addresses, the resources, additional contacts. The other uh, items will be along the settings tab here. Uh, if you want to adjust your locations or your systems, uh, here's your taxes. So you can always get back and change any of that information at any time. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and click scope of work. And uh, I'm going to load in an RTF pre-written scope of work for this project. Uh, so when the software offers to create a brand new one, I'll choose No and then choose to Attach. And then Browse to where I have that template. Go ahead and open that up. And it's going to move to the folder. Just go ahead and hit uh, Cancel on that. And you'll see here that we have a scope of work document that can now be edited. If you'd like to edit it, simply click Open, and that will open inside of WordPad for any changes you'd like to make for this project. We'll save and close that. And now I'll begin adding products to this project. To do that, I'm going to pick a location over here, pick a system, pull out the Product Explorer by clicking on it just once. It'll dock out here. And now you can do a search for the product you'd like to add. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, this TV. Now you can either click Add to Project or simply click and drag this over to the uh, editor. So we've got a TV. Let's add some speakers. Do a quick search. Maybe I want five of these. We'll go ahead and just change the quantity, then drag this over. And we'll go ahead and put the brackets in for that as well. We'll put five brackets because there's five speakers. And in this case, let's add three of these speakers. We'll do that. And now, if you want to change uh, locations or start building another uh, room, if you will, go ahead and select, say, you know, in this case, living room, AV system pull out the list and do a search for what you're looking for. In this case, we'll add one of these and go ahead and let that close. So you can see that the default view out here will group by location. In this case, this is what's in the media room and this is what's in the living room. And that's how you would go about uh, beginning to add items to a project. You can also add labor items as well. You could pick a location here, for instance, if we say, uh, you know, just media room, maybe control system for the system. Here, you can pull this over and you can choose to pull in any one of your labor items. In this case, we'll pull in the programming labor line item. And you could double click that to edit it if you'd like to change the hours. So if we go here, we can say 
total job, eight hours, save that, and we've now added some labor here to this project file. So continue doing that until you've built your bill of materials for your project.